I'm going to take this in for a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> I hear you, Cheryl. I hear you, Cheryl. Oh, man. I want to give uh, glory to God for blessing me with this talent. I want to say thank you to Van. I remember all the battles between the monarchs and the comets, but this is truly an honor to have you here. It reminds me of us being on a big stage winning the gold medal together in 2004. As I reflect on my life's journey, I was unknown. And I'm going to say it again, I was unknown. I came out of nowhere, yet, I never gave up on my dreams, and here I am at the pinnacle, the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Incredible. Thank you to the Basketball Hall of Fame for this recognition. I am extremely honored and humbled. And congratulations to my fellow classmates, especially, I'm going to say you, see Webb. Here we are, reunited again, baby. Sacramento and the Monarchs. To Sacramento, how do you say thank you to the city that completely embraced you? To the best fans in the WNBA, you gave us a purpose, a will to always strive to be the best on the court, and without you, there were no Monarchs. To the 2005 WMA Monarch Championship, I knew that team was special. From Magic TP, Demaya, Kayla, Nicole, Rebecca, Christian, Chelsea, Myga, along with the rest of my teammates, the coaching staff, and everyone in the organization. This means the world to me to share this honor with you. Thank you to USA Basketball for believing in me and allowing me to win two gold medals. That was a dream come true. <sighs> Coach McHugh, what a wonderful journey you and I have been on from Long Beach to Sacramento. There are not enough words that can express my gratitude. The way you challenged me every day and demanded perfection on the court and to be the best person off of it. Thank you for always keeping it real with me. Coach McHugh, I love you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Coach Smith, my high school coach, thank you for keeping your word to my mom, for always being there and making sure I stayed out of trouble and graduated from high school. You know, growing up on the south side of Chicago is tough. You were hard on me just like my mom would have been. Your mentorship and presence in my life is invaluable. And I hope I grew into that leader you, you was hoping I would become. Lastly, to my family, <clears throat> I would not be here without your love and support. To my older brothers, Harvey and Robert, thanks for protecting me when I was growing up and for showing me tough love on the playground. That went a long way because I came up against so many bigger and stronger players throughout my career. That toughness you two showed me was just your way of letting, letting me know that there were no tears in this game. Kathy, I miss you. <clears throat> But I know you are watching over me every day, making sure I'm staying focused and reading my Bible that you gave me, because you've been on me from day one. <laughs> Growing up, you was always someone I looked up to and have learned so much from. Thank you for always having time for your little sister, even if I got on your nerves, which I know was a lot. You know how little, little sisters are, <laughs> the babies in the family. Cynthia, my big sis, 
the backbone of it all. When mom passed away, you took on a bigger role than you could have ever imagined. Your dreams was cut short to take care of Kathy and me. Thank you for your wisdom and kind heart. I see mom and you every day. I am truly grateful for you, Pooey. Mom and pops, yo, we made it. We have made it. Thank you for being such wonderful parents, for all your love and support. You both preach hard work and discipline, which I took with me into adulthood. Mom, you was my role model growing up, that glowing smile, how you carried yourself like nothing ever bothered you. Pops, as you would say, don't take any wooden nickels. I carry that message everywhere with me to this day, never allowing anyone to take advantage of me. Thank you for that tough love support. I love and miss you both dearly. My girls, whew, my girls, Candace and Alicia, I am so thankful God blessed me with two amazing young ladies. You both inspired me through this long journey to always work hard and be my best. Thank you for being my, being my motivation and to keep pushing forward and to never give up. I thank you. One hundred and seventeenth of Lafayette, on the south side of Chicago. That's where it all started for me. My foundation. The shy kid with no confidence found her way through basketball right across the street at Scallon School. Through the hard times, I found an outlet. There on the basketball court, I found my calling, my purpose. We all have a journey in life we face. It's just up to you to follow your dreams and to never give up on yourself. God bless you all, and have a good night. 33 out, baby. <laughs>